Hello everyone, you're watching Edupedia World Videos. We are learning PowerPoint and my name is Neeru Varma. So we are discussing about PowerPoint environment and topic for today's session is slide views. Talking about the slide views, the group of four buttons located to the left of the zoom control. These are known as the slide views. It lets us switch between the PowerPoint views. In this session, we'll be discussing about the slide views. The group of four buttons located to the left of the zoom control. These buttons. These are the slide views. These are the four kind of slide views available. Using these icons, we can switch between the different views. Let's discuss all the views one after the other. The first one, the first view is known as the normal view. It shows the slide on the right hand side and the list of the thumbnails to the left hand side. This is the list of the thumbnails and this is the slide area. So this view is known as the normal view. We have selected the normal view option here and this screen is the normal view screen. It helps us to edit the individual slides and help to rearrange the slides. Rearranging means moving them one after the other. You can change the locations. You can just click on this and then you can try to drag it downwards. It gives you the option move, copy or cancel. What do you want to do? You can move it downwards, you can move it upwards. So you can rearrange the slides and you can see the content. You can modify the contents here on the right hand side. Then on the other hand, we have the slide shorter view, the second one. This is the slide shorter view. I'll show you how it looks like. This is the slide shorter view. It displays all these slides as a matrix. This view only allow you to rearrange the slides, but you can't edit the contents. Only you can move, you can rearrange them or you can see all the thumbnails like of slides, but you cannot edit any content. Then third is the reading view. This icon is for the reading view. Once you click on this icon, you can see the reading view. In this view, this is just like a slideshow with access to the windows taskbar. In case you need to switch to the windows, you can do that and edit anything else in this view. It means the only difference between the slideshow and the reading view is that you can switch between the windows. You can see the taskbar here, you can see all the icons. So if you want to access something else like you want to move to the explorer or you want to open any program, you can do that. You need not to move out of the PowerPoint. But in case of the slideshow view, you need to press the escape key first to move out of the slideshow and then you can perform the other actions. One most important thing about the reading view is you can only read the contents. You cannot modify anything. You cannot rearrange any slide. The only thing is this is available for the reading purpose. With the help of these arrow keys, you can move to the next slide. You can move to the previous slides. So this is only for the reading purpose. You cannot edit anything. Then the next view we are talking about is the slideshow view. You click on the slideshow, this, and it's going to show you the presentation from the beginning. You can see all these slides one after the other. You can keep pressing the arrow key or you can keep clicking your mouse pointers and you can get the presentation after that. I'm pressing the escape key to move out of this view. Now click to the normal view once again. We used to work on the normal views only because we need to modify the text. We need to enter certain images. So we used to work on the normal view.
so that was about the views i guess you would be able to answer the queries about the views like what are the views available and in which view you want to work or you used to work what is the view available to modify the text so that was it about the slide views we have these four views available and we are able to answer the queries regarding the all the views and we understood like how we can work on which particular view so that was it about today's session thank you everyone thank you for watching edupedia world videos